If you sense God's leading and God's calling and God's gifting in that way, I think the first thing I would say is it can be really bumpy for a woman, even in places that are embracing women. And just to remind you that God sees you, that God is omnipresent, that God is omnipotent, that God is omniscient. And that even in those times where you feel small, where you feel like nobody sees you, you feel like you will never get to use your gifts, that God sees you. And I suspect it's his favorite kind of person. If you look at Moses, like, yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't want to use my voice. He's like, even if I have to use your brother to speak for you, I want to use you. You look at Gideon hiding down in a hole and God's saying, yeah, I want to use you. You look at Esther, who is probably the least powerful person in a kingdom. I think she's trafficked and God raises her up to save a whole nation of people. That doesn't mean that is what greatness is. Sometimes greatness is just aspiring to the quiet life and being faithful to the end. But just know that if God has gifted you, God has given you the opportunity to have an education, if he has created the means for you to do it, he will have plans for you.